हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू मरीना के किस चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर हैविंग अ गुड डे सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव अप्लाइड फॉर स्पॉन्सरशिप फॉर गुड वुड शिपिंग कंपनी एंड यू आर अबाउट टू अपेयर द इंटरव्यू ऑफ इट देन येस दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू गाइज बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट माइट हेल्प यू और दैट माइट हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू बट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कम आई हैव गॉट दिस मच क्वेश्चन लाइक आई नो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स और मेनी सीनियर्स हु हैव ऑलरेडी हु आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग इन दिस कंपनी एंड सम ऑफ देम आई मीन सम स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑल्सो देयर हु हैव अप्लाइड फॉर स्पॉन्सरशिप एंड दे हैव गॉट ऑल्सो एंड नाउ दे आर परसुइंग देयर डी एन एस कोर्सेज फ्रॉम यू नो विच कॉलेज बिकॉज गुड वुड शिपिंग कंपनी कम्स ओनली इन अ पर्टिकुलर कॉलेज एवरी ईयर फॉर अकॉर्डिंग टू माई इन्फॉर्मेशन and uh, i asked them about the questions they all gave a list of questions and from all the combined lists the most common questions that uh, they have given me i'm going to share with you guys definitely if you follow this and uh, if you prepare this it will be enough for you but i am not telling you that uh, you have to prepare only this and only this questions will be coming in interview my perspective is if you understand what i'm saying what are the questions what i'll give you the answers also See, basically there are three kinds of questions in interview. First kind uh, belongs to your personal questions like uh, what's your introduction, what's your hobby. So if someone is asking you what's your introduction, that doesn't means you will uh, make him. I mean the interview account your siblings. I have two brothers, three sisters, or whatever you have. You can just say that yes, we can. We are living in a joint family. What's your father's background? What's your mother's background? If uh, any kind of job your father or mother have, or both of them working, you can tell them. And if they ask you about your hobbies, don't make it fake. But one thing I like to tell you that uh, I know many of the students are uh, doing it. That they are following the phrase that uh, fake it till you make it. but if you are going to fake it then make sure that whatever hobby you are telling to the interview you know each and everything about that particular game particular art particular sculpture or whatever you are telling in response of that what's your favorite hobby like if you are telling long tennis then make sure you know all the rules all the players which country helps the world cup or whatever each and everything i mean each and everything regarding that particular game if you are saying glass painting then you must know what are the colors what are the glass we use for glass painting if you are telling chess then you should know the name of the chess players and uh, each and every game about i mean all the basic important games of that particular game like if you are talking about chess then in which country chess is being uh, celebrated as the major game so you have to clear this you know and uh, there are some questions uh, from book uh, you might have gone all through that questions read the laws kirchhoff's law and uh, newton's law all the three laws example of all the three laws keep your basics clear so i'm not going upon that but the most important part is general science the questions from general science this is the main thing if you answer that it's definitely gonna impress the interviewer and one more thing that i believe in and i always suggest all students who ask me questions through instagram or any social media i am active upon that uh, what should we answer to crack the interview see my belief what i believe is that you should not apply i mean you should not sit in front of the interviewer to crack the interview because you don't know the result right they are not going to tell you that yes your interview is done and you were selected but work to impress the interviewer don't work to crack the interview work for the purpose which is giving you the result on the spot like uh, if i speak out in hindi like aap log agar kabhi bhi interview dete ho to bahut student ke sath aisa hua that uh, they come and uh, give me a good response that sir wo khush hue aur uh, unhone kaha ki it's good well done your preparation is good ye aapko kaise pata laga kyunki unhone waisa kuch response diya right उन्होंने आपको खुश मतलब आपने उनके फेस पे एक स्माइल देखा या फिर आपको पता लगा कि उन्होंने कुछ किया है ना तो उनके रिस्पॉन्स से आपको ये पता लग गया होगा कि हाँ आपका इंटरव्यू बहुत अच्छा गया है राइट right? so this is the reason i always suggest any student who talks to me or who seeks my advice or when they come to me with their queries that work to impress the interview or don't work to crack the interview because it's a real thing you know it's a fact that you don't know the result you will get to know when they will mail you after one week two week or whatsoever then uh, then you will get to know the result but if you impress him you will see his reaction or his smile at least that is satisfy for the applicant 
that yes i was able to satisfy the interview all right so in this video i have some questions i'm going to discuss i'll keep it slow and calm so that you can note it down or you can watch the video again and again to have a revision of all the questions i don't have that much questions but whatever i got it will be of your use so let's start and one more thing guys it's a kind of a request that i have seen my analytics of my channel that most of you guys watch the full video but don't know why you guys don't subscribe so it's my request that please subscribe to my channel at least it makes me more confident while making this kind of informational videos for you i try my best to make it in high quality so that you can watch it on tv you can watch it on any android device or whatever you feel like to watch in uh, so that i can give you the information or you can enjoy watching it as well so please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon because i always make this kind of informative videos so that uh, whenever you will tap the bell icon you will be notified all the time when i will be uploading these videos and one more thing give your comments yaar aap log comment nahi dete if the video is not good if uh, you think that i wasted your time then we have unlike button also you can easily unlike and you can drop your comments you can drop whatever you feel like uh, if video was good you can drop your comment according to that or agar video acha nahi tha then also you can drop your comment you can say that video was not good or whatever you feel you can drop your comments it will be helpful for me if you have any doubt regarding this video you can use the comment section or if you want to connect with me i'll give you a link in the description that uh, that is quora link you can drop all your general queries i will definitely reply each and every of that now let's come on to the questions as i said that i'll keep it uh, easy slow and strong so that you can note it down and yes these are very important questions you will have to note it down then uh, starting from the first question what will happen to your weight when you are in the lift and the cord of the lift breaks so in short your weight will be zero but i am having a organized answer for you if the cord of the lift is broken it falls freely as we all know and in this situation the weight of the body becomes zero this is the situation of weightlessness weightlessness this is the situation of weightlessness while going down the because of the acceleration due to gravity increases a body in the lift goes in contact of the ceiling of the lift and this is the reason your if you want to short if you want to answer in short you can tell it becomes zero and if they ask you why it becomes zero then you can tell them that uh, at that much speed when the lift goes down due to gravity the speed increases and the body goes up and comes in contact with the lift what is the use of hydrometer it is used to measure relative density why it does and one more thing this instrument thing i'll tell at the last of the video i have uh, noted 10 to 20 that instruments and uh, why it is used to measure or what are the instruments used to measure this kind of things i'll tell in the video you can note it down as well what is the use of hydrometer used to measure relative density why does ice floats on water because density of ice is less than the water and if they ask you that can you tell us the density of water and ice then uh, density of ice is 0.92 g per cm3 and for water it's 1 uh, g per cm3 read uh, read both laws of flotation and uh, let's come to fifth question that is surface tension it is the force acting normally to an unit length of an imaginary line drawn on the surface of liquid and its formula is force by length and therefore its unit is newton per meter and one more thing due to the surface tension rain drops are spherical in shape and one more phenomena which is based on surface tension i mean it's on its definition is that warm soup is tasty because at high temperature its tension is surface tension is low and consequently the soup spreads on all parts of tongue so they might even ask you what is surface tension and can you tell me two phenomena or one phenomena you can tell both of them that a uh, drop of rain is spherical in shape and warm soup is tasty if they ask you cross questions i mean if they ask you the opposite questions that why warm soup is tasty you can tell them because of the 
phenomena of surface tension because of the definition of surface tension and if they ask you that can you explain surface tension so this is the basic question they can ask you anyhow like they can counter question you before uh, that uh, you have to tell the definition or you have to tell any two facts based upon the phenomena of surface tension then I have just told you all these things you can note it down you have to note it down I am telling you again and again it will definitely clear your all the doubts and it will prepare you as well for the interview yes we have some more phenomena based on surface tension four phenomena number one small drops of mercury are spherical while large ones are flat formation of lead shots Flotation of needle on water. Yes, this is a very big common question which many applicants has told me that the interviewer has asked them the questions why needle flows on water because it is based upon the phenomenon of surface tension. And the fourth phenomenon of uh, we have that is dancing of camphor on water. Camphor C A M P H O R. I would like to tell you you can Google it because uh, there are little bit questions but I can't go that much deep you have to at least work a little bit for your own interview let's come up to sixth question and before that I would like to tell all you guys that who are going to appear for interview that please watch my video on Anglo Eastern interview questions and Great Eastern interview questions because what I prefer to all the students that the more questions you will cover the more prepared you will be for the interview like this is particularly for good wood but you should know more questions like they are gonna ask you questions uh, based upon canals, gulf, pussy and what is uh, what is peninsula, what are the countries, what are the capitals, what are the currencies that is the major portion which you should be cleared like you should be sharp enough that if they are asking you what is the currency of India and you must be in a fraction of second this should come out of your mind this is the tricks which can impress the interviewer and one more trick that I am going to tell you like we have the sixth question what is the definition of thermal expansion or what do you know about thermal expansion whatever they ask you you have to answer that it is the increase in size of the body on heating here the definition of thermal expansion ends but if you know a more about thermal expansion then you have to use only one word that is and like it is the increase in size of the body on heating and thermal expansion is of three types which is linear expansion which takes place in length superficial expansion which takes place in area and at last cubical expansion which takes place in volume so this is the basic and easiest trick you can use to impress the interviewer like you will be what is the major mistake that students do they put an end to a sentence and they start a new sentence if you do that they will charge you that i asked you only the definition but you have told us about uh, all the types also so if you use that only one word and it will be best of you and uh, rest is upon you if you have knowledge and they are not asking you you can add it they will be like I asked him the definition and uh, he told us about all the three types also and and which type takes place in which dimensions like uh, expansion linear expansion takes place in length cubical expansion takes place in volume and superficial expansion takes place in area so it's upon you if you want to impress them you will have to be smart enough and uh, some practical applications of thermal expansion Telephone wires are given enough gap to allow wires for contraction in winter. This this is also a common question that all of them have given. And in Anglo Eastern interview also this kind of questions are always asked. Number two application. An ordinary pendulum clock runs faster in winter but slow in summer because in summer the length of pendulum increases while in winter it decreases it is also a common question and the third application of thermal expansion a gap is provided between the iron rails of the railway track so that rails can expand during summer and do not bend if that gap is not provided then in winter what happens that iron rails will uh, in uh, i mean in summer the iron expands and it will collide and it will curve or it will break leading to uh, accident of trains leading to derail of trains whatever it can happen then we have the question what is the use of hypochrometer 
एच वाई जी आर ओ नॉट हाइड्रो अर्लियर द क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ हाइड्रोमीटर देन लेट मी टेल यू इट इज यूज टू मेजर रिलेटिव डेंसिटी नाउ वी हैव द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ हाइक्रोमीटर इट इज यूज टू मेजर रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी लर्न किस्टोक्स लॉ लर्न पैसकल्स लॉ लर्न विटस्टोन ब्रिज लर्न सम एज आई अर्लियर सेट एज ए सेड अर्लियर लाइक न्यूटन्स लॉ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑल दी थ्री लॉज कीप ऑल योर लॉज क्लियर बिकॉज दैट इज ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद दी लॉज विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड फॉर अ इयर इन क्लास ट्वेल्व देन यू आर ऑफ नो यूज फॉर द इंटरव्यूअर एंड यू विल बी इन ह्यूज लाइक यू विल नॉट बी ऑन टॉप एज सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी ऑन टॉप एज यू हैव टू बी क्लियर विद ऑल दी टॉपिक्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व these are the questions of general science you might not answer you might not have the knowledge of general science that's uh, not a big deal but if you are answer this kind of questions definitely trust me it will create a huge impression of yours in front of interviewer and uh, the next question is newton's law of cooling some phenomena uh, based on uh, this law you have to answer that like uh, what are the phenomena based on uh, Newton's law of cooling. Um, please Google it or go through your books because I am not going so much deep. I have some more questions now. I am going to tell you all the instruments which are used to measure something. Like uh, we had the question hydrometer, hygrometer. Like this, we have a whole list that I have uh, prepared for you guys. I am. I will keep it slow and steady so that you can have it. Starting from altimeter. it is used to measure altitudes and is used in aircraft ammeter strength of electric current in ammeter i mean uh, unit is ampere audiometer intensity of sound barometer atmospheric pressure binocular it is used to view distant objects there is a huge list you have to note it down calorimeter quantity of heat cardiogram movement of the heart chronometer it determines longitude of a place kept on a boat ship see we have instruments which are used on ship also so this kind of questions can come in interview dynamo it converts mechanical energy into electrical energy we have engines on ship so you have to cover these questions they might ask you these questions and uh, electrometer electricity electroscope presence of an it detects presence of an electric charge endoscope it examines internal parts of the body bathymeter depth of the ocean this is the basic instrument that most of the students are asked in anglo eastern interviews and in um, fleet interview or uh, great eastern interview and then we have a galvanometer it measures the electric current of low magnitude uh, most of the students have already studied this in class 12 hydrometer it measures the specific gravity of liquid hygrometer i already told you hydrophone it measures sound under water manometer it measures the pressure of uh, gases we also have uh, some machines related to gas on ship i can't tell you that much deep it will take a whole day so this kind of questions are also important for you and yes mariner's compass already used by sailor to determine the direction this is the basic question and it should come out of your mind out of your common sense if you have some and then uh, microphone it converts the sound waves into electrical vibrations microscope to obtain magnified view of small objects and then uh, radiometer it measures the emission of radiant energy telescope it views a distant objects in uh, space thermometer the instrument is used for the measurement of temperatures thermostat it regulates the temperature at a particular point voltmeter it measures the electric potential difference between two points so these are the most important instruments which are used to measure something these were the points i it was very important for you to know this kind of points and in case you can't note it down that much fast and you can slow down the video you can watch it you can note it down and for your interview i'd like to tell you all the best and yes one more thing guys take it as a suggestion that your appearance also matters in interview because most of the guys i have seen that they was not clean shaved or they were not having tie they were in t-shirt or whatever informal casual dress and that 
it's not good at all because your appearance is the first thing because if you are wearing a clean shirt it will not keep you on top page of the interview but if you are wearing a dirty shirt then it might create your bad impression in front of the interview so these are some advices you must at least you should also know that you are wearing a clean shirt or dirty shirt in front of the interviewer if the company is sending you a link from the interview at least keep your things ready don't and uh, at some cases what happens let me tell you or uh, let me share with you that in some cases what happens student don't even knows that today is his interview because he has not got any mail nothing no information from the shipping company and all of us are all of us certain between 11 am to 12 and so on they are getting a mail and when they are clicking the mail they are like oh shit it's interview and they are in short and trust me it has happened four to five times with different students they have shared with me that's why i'm able to share with you guys that while interview is going on like there is a particular month or uh, half of a month when you know that interview is going to start like uh, this interview that interview whatever interview always keep your dress well ironed like uh, keep it clean keep a tie for you always because you never know sometimes what happens colleges send you uh, information just five minutes before the interview you click the link and within a second you see two of them sitting in front of camera and throwing questions at you why are you not well dressed so these are the basic things you should keep clear and one more thing guys uh, i'll drop a link in the description you can go through it if you have any query or any general queries or regarding interviewing regarding your career if you want to ask me you can drop it there i'll definitely answer you and if you want you can follow me on instagram i'm a little bit active on there if you are watching this video till here then please subscribe to my channel tap the bell icon and please let me know in the comment section that how was it if it was useful for you if not then please we have a dislike option you can dislike this video i'll be happy a lot please react at least one thing i'm asking you for this videos and all please react to my videos let me know that if my video was informational for you or i just wasted your time so i am asking to you if my video was not good for you or you think that no it was not informative for you please feel free to use that dislike button i'll be happy if you guys react so thank you all the best for your interview stay fit and stay good